Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about how President Donald J. Trump is playing Harris like a video game. And what his campaign against her says about him. More importantly, what it says that he knows about himself. We're going to do this because I made a joke in a recent video, kind of an offhand statement. Um, the president said that men were bothered by the idea of a woman being nominated for vice president. I said that wasn't true. I said that uh, no men were, were bothered by that, but maybe some little boys were. It was a joke. It was a joke. I had women push back on that statement and say, no, that's not true. There are men who are bothered by it. Now, to be honest, had it been men saying that, I would have written it off and just believed it was them trying to justify their own behavior. But the observation was there. Ever since then, I've been trying to figure out why that might be. I found my answer in a 2015 study about video games, specifically Halo 3 was the one they used. And they were trying to determine why women were subjected, why women players were subjected to hostility from their teammates. They viewed it through the lens of evolutionary psychology, and what they concluded was that female-initiated disruption of a male hierarchy incites hostile behavior from poor-performing males who stand to lose the most status. I mean, that's funny in and of itself, but there's more to the study. Not just, a, not just a, it determined that men who were poor performing, that were low skilled, that they reacted this way to women. It also determined that they were more submissive to players who were men. Look at Trump's interactions on the world stage. Look at the way he reacts to other world leaders. This is why Putin and people like Putin can uh, basically pull him around by his ear. And then if you look at the way he reacts to world leaders who are women, even if they're not traditional world leaders, look at the way he reacted to Greta. It demonstrates that this is true, that this completely fits him. I'd like to take this moment to stop and point out that higher skilled, higher performing men didn't do this. They reacted more positively towards women teammates. But see, there's, there's one other piece to this. Politics isn't a video game, especially when you take it to the international stage. There's no objective score. It's not like he can look at a screen and know that he's poor performing. Know that he's low skilled. There's nothing objective telling him this. You know, it's not like domestic politics where he has poll numbers or something that he can go off of. On the international stage, this behavior has to be rooted in, an, in his own personal acknowledgement that he is low performing, that he's low skilled. There's nothing telling him. He has to know deep down, under the facade, under the image that he tries to put forth of being a tough guy, deep down he behaves this way because he knows he's a failure. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.